Welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. Today I wanted to share an update to our homeschool book and a movie picks for the 2022-2023 school year. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls ages 13 and 10. So they are in eighth and fifth grade. So I like to still have some together time in the morning and we usually use read out loud for that. And I chose how many was it originally? I originally chose 14 books for this school year that had movies that we can watch after we read the book. But it is only the end of October and we have read nine of the 14 books. So I wanted to find a few more that I can add in. A couple of the original books, which I will link that video in the description box, um, a couple of those books were series, but my kids weren't ready to jump into a series yet. We usually like to um, just read a couple of fun stories and then towards the end of the year, we'll get into like a series that we can read over the summer. So my kids wanted me to choose a few more books to add to this list and I chose 10 more books to add to this list. So the first one that I chose is called The Incredible Journey. And this goes with the movie Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. And this is just about three animals that get lost in the Canadian wilderness and they have to find their way home. So we have seen this movie. Um, we do like this movie a lot. And I think there's actually two movies. I think one goes with this book and then there's like another one where they're lost in San Francisco. But um, I plan on just watching the first one with this one. And then now this one I've never read. My kids have never read. We've never seen the movie. And this one is called The Great Gilly Hopkins. So I really don't know much about this book. Um, it does say that 11 year old Gilly Hopkins is famous for being brash, brilliant and completely unmanageable. None of her foster homes have been able to tame her. So just this just seems like a really interesting book. Again, I've never read it, never seen the movie, and it's not super long, so I feel like that's like perfect. The next one is Pollyanna. It says, poor Pollyanna, penniless and orphaned, she doesn't seem to have much to be happy about. And when she moves in with her harsh Aunt Polly, things start to look even worse. So I want to say I read this a long time ago, but I really can't remember. I've read so many books, but... So this is another pick for book and a movie. And again, these classic starts, I like them because it gives you enough of the story, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't drag on. So it's not a super long read. I also chose Heidi. Um, this one is Heidi thrives in the open air and sunshine of the Swiss Alps where she lives with her grandfather. But when it is decided she needs a better education than than what she's getting running around with the goats, she is whisked away to a companion to, to be a companion to a wheelchair bound Clara in the city. And now this next one, I didn't even realize that it was a book. And I actually really liked this movie when I was younger. But this one's called The Iron Giant. So I do remember this movie. My kids have never seen it. But I used to love this movie. So and again, this is a super short read. Gosh, yeah, like it's not even 100 pages. Yeah, this book is only 79 pages long. I mean, we could probably read this in a day, but I remember just really enjoying the movie and I thought that my kids would really enjoy the story and then watching the movie. But this is about a mysterious creature stalks the land, eating barbed wire and devouring tractors and plows. The farmers are mystified and afraid. And then they get a glimpse at him at night. The Iron Giant, taller than a house with glowing headlight eyes and a taste for metal. So... I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know that it's a cute little story about a boy named Hogarth. I, yeah, Hogarth um, and how he meets this giant. Now, this book, Freaky Friday, I only added this to my list because I actually found this copy for free at a used bookstore. It's pretty it's pretty beat up, but I mean, we could still read it. It's still <laughs> it's still in good enough condition to read. So I added Freaky Friday. I don't even think I've ever really watched the movie, but I, I understand what it's about. So this is Annabelle Andrews has got a rough life. Her annoying little brother 
is constantly following her around. Her mom is always after her to clean up. And Boris, the boy who lives upstairs, doesn't like her a bit. So she thinks about who has life really easy. And all of a sudden, it comes to her. She should be her mother. So, I mean, if, you under, if you've ever seen Freaky Friday, you know it's how they swap you know, and then they have to like swap back. But <laughs> so she has to be her mom and her mom has to be her. So I just thought I'd add this in again. It was a free book. So I was like, yeah, why not? Now this one, actually, um, one of you suggested this book to me. And this one is Peter Pan. I can't believe I've never thought to read Peter Pan to my kids because I love the Disney cartoon Peter Pan. And there are so many movies um on Peter Pan as well like you could watch Hook which I used to love that you know movie Rufy oh but yeah Peter Pan so I actually didn't even own it so that I had to buy this one and I did buy it at a used bookstore but it was actually in really good condition so I think I paid 50 cents for this book but Peter Pan is next on the list um, so again, this one, all children except one grow up. With these words, J.M. Barry creates an immortal tale of children's literature in Peter Pan, a story of suspense, adventure, and everlasting childhood. So I also thought that this would be a good one to throw in is because both, um, or not both, all. So my oldest daughter, my youngest daughter, and myself just got done reading Never Never, which is one of the books from the villain series. And I just thought that this would go really great since we just finished that book as well. Now this one, I only kind of threw it in because I know we're going to be reading it for Christmas and there is a movie, but we will be reading in December, A Christmas Carol. So again, this is just one of those books that we read every year. It isn't, I don't think this one's super long. Well, it's like a medium. It's a medium book, 180 pages, but the words in this one are pretty big and it does have pictures. But last year, I think we read this in only like two days. But A Christmas Carol, we love this story. And then we watched the one where it's like Jim Carrey voices the cartoon of um, Ebenezer Scrooge. So we love this story. And then the last two I have, I will insert pictures because I'm still waiting for the order to come in. But I never knew that Mrs. Doubtfire was a book. So I really wanted to read that. My kids love that movie. And... Um, it's actually called Madam Doubtfire when it's a book, but I have it on order and it should be here soon. I just think that that would be a fantastic read. I'm crossing my fingers that it's a good book. And then the last one is The Never Ending Story. So I loved The Never Ending Story movies when I was younger. So I just thought, and, and I've never read the book. So I just thought that this would be a fantastic book for my kids to hear the only thing is is the never ending story is I think it's like over 300 pages so it is a little bit of a commitment for um like a read out loud in the morning but I really really want to read it and again I'm just waiting for this one to come in so that is the update to our book in a movie for this homeschool year again I do still have a couple of those series that I showed in my first video um that would um kind of tack on to the end of this year if we have time. But yeah, so this is what we have planned out so far. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you can think of anything um, that we should add to this list, please let me know. Uh, I do really appreciate the fact that somebody recommended Peter Pan because you would think that I would have read that already with all the books I have or at least have it and I didn't. So thank you so much um, for recommending that. But leave any recommendations in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.